Now, if you're familiar with terms like high-res audio, lossless music, and everything else in between that falls under what we refer to as audiophilia, then I'm pretty sure you've also come across the term DAC, or what we refer to as a digital to analog converter. And when it comes to listening to music from your smartphones at the highest possible quality, your best and easy way to do that would be to get a dongle DAC. So I recently purchased this DAC, the iFi Audio Go Link, and even though it kind of falls under the expensive side of things, I feel it's money well spent and I definitely feel that this is the DAC to consider over any other dongle DAC that is available in the market right now. Let me explain why. Now first up, let's talk build and design. The Go Link is entirely built out of aluminum. There's a Type-C connector at one end and the other one has a gold-plated 3.5mm jack for connecting to your headphones or your IEMs. In between the two is a short braided cable that is also of a premium quality. Now inside the box you get two additional connectors for the Go Link. The first one is a Type-C to lightning connector that lets you connect the DAC to your iPads or older iPhones. And the next one is a Type-C to Type-A connector for using the Go Link with your computers if you don't have a Type-C port. Now coming to the DAC itself, if you see closely, you'll find an LED indicator right over here with MQA written next to it. It's there to indicate the format of music that you're listening to. Now with regards to the wide variety of audio formats that is supported by this DAC, I do have a lot of things to talk about. But before that, please do me a favor by hitting that thumbs up button down below. It definitely helps out the YouTube algorithm recommend this video to more and more people like you. Alright, now let's talk about the most important aspect of this stack, the sound quality. Now, let me tell you this, the initial results weren't that much mind-blowing like I had imagined earlier. Let me explain. So here's what I did. I fired up Tidal and started listening to Lata Mangeshkar and A.R. Rahman's legendary soundtrack Jiya Jale from the movie Dilse. I listened to the song on my personal IEM, the KZ80X, using the iFi Audio Go Link. And for a comparison, I also threw in my inexpensive DAC from Kin Sound that I had purchased earlier. And here is what I observed. The sound output that I got from the iFi Audio Go Link, apart from being a bit louder thanks to its inbuilt amplifier, wasn't that much different from what was being offered by the Kin Sound DAC. And I was like, what am I missing out on? That just can't be right, can it? And then I decided to ask for help from a friend of mine. Now you all might recognize Sunny from Hardware Mana and he was kind enough to loan me his incredible pair of IEMs, the SimGot EA500LM and it definitely was the missing part of the puzzle for me. This time the output from the two DACs had such a big difference. There was so much detail and resolution in the output from the Go Link that I was honestly rendered speechless. The sound from the Mridangam, the flute and every other musical instruments around the 1 minute 30 second mark became easily distinguishable. And I didn't quite stop there, I even went as far as downloading a library full of very high quality tracks from HiResAudio.com and this time I started listening to them on the EA500LM and the GoLink Duo. Now all of these tracks had crazy high bit rates and formats that I'm also looking at for the very first time and listening to them was just… for the lack of a better word, it's pure eargasm. And this is where I feel the iFi Audio Go Link is able to make itself unique and stand out from the rest of the crowd. I mean, its ability to resolve all those formats out there like MQA, DSD and so much more and the clarity of the sound stage that it produces is just something else and definitely worth mentioning here. Now, the only con that I faced here is the fact that the Go Link tends to get a bit warm after using it for about half an hour or so. Is it something to worry about? Absolutely no. Is it something that should stop you from making a decision to buy it? Hell no! So that was my review of the iFi Audio Go Link and I would definitely recommend this DAC to all of my fellow audiophiles. It's a piece of tech that will be able to drive a wide range of in-ear monitors and headphones, even expensive ones like you just saw. And if you're serious about listening to music, I would say that it's a great long-term investment. So with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more such content like this and I'll see you guys in my next one.